Okay guys, I am fresh back from Advanced Auto Parts and I picked up some spark plugs and a set of exact spark plug wire set. These spark plug wires are like uh You guys see them. I think it'd be all kinds of stuff in there. See them? That's the coil wire there with the funky end on. And they look like they're gray. Yeah, carbon something super high energy 8 mil wires. Should be pretty good. So, uh, I don't know if I'm really gonna show you guys changing the spark plugs, but, uh, I'll give you a few tips later on here. I gotta get a coat on. It's kind of cold out. Uh, I also gotta grab a ladder and a socket that'll work on the spark plugs. So, be back shortly. I'm done taking out the first spark plug. Uh, hopefully you guys can tell, but the... I don't think you guys can really tell, but... Let me try here. You guys can kind of tell there the electrodes just about burn away on this uh, forward spark plug on the driver's side. They need to change. They look pretty crispy, but otherwise not too bad. Uh, like I said, I'm going to change these plugs and the plug wires, and we'll see how much better it runs, along with my little assistant. Alright, be back once I get them all changed, or if I find one that looks worse than that. Oof. That is smooth. So anyways, it's running on seven out of eight spark plugs. That's pretty good. Seven out of eight new new plugs, I should say. So, hey, anyway, I'll take it for a little test drive and uh, see how it goes. this year. I've been too busy with breakdowns. I haven't had time to do anything, but I'll try and hold you guys steady. It's not really shaking or doing anything. I don't know. Seems like it's running pretty good. Check engine light's still coming on while I'm driving, though, so I don't know what's up with it. Okay, see it's not on now. You guys know it comes on like, see there's the instrument cluster. It comes on like right there if you remember some of my videos, so. I don't know. As soon as you uh, like go down the road and put it in the drive, it'll come on. I almost wonder if it's transmission related though, I don't know. I might try taking the uh, battery terminals off tonight and resetting the computer. See how that works. Okay, shut my fog lights off. You guys can't see my switches anyways, but anyways, I got like four switches over here. One, oh, the second one in is the under the hood light. That's for my CB and my power inverter. 
And the one over here on the side is for my subs in the back. I don't know how I can pick up on that, but alright. Let everything back off. <sighs> Some kind of crappy wrap crops on there. I don't know. Anyways, guys, hopefully that'll be the last fixing for the Bronco. Uh, I had a little bit of a technical oopsie yesterday. I uh, went to start my truck at the gas station and both my starter bolts were loose. <laughs> so it just went around. <laughs> I was grinding on a flywheel, that was kind of interesting. Luckily I had an adjustable wrench to fix it. Otherwise, I would have been there for a little bit, or until somebody would have gave me a push. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. I want to get a better camera, but... If my trucks don't run, I don't need a camera, so... So anyways, there's the plugs that came out. They were all auto lights. Uh, the only problem I saw with them was the gap looked crazy on them. You guys can see how big the gap is. Uh, each spark plug was, uh, either, I think it was like $2.10 for a plug. Or auto light 24s that go in the, uh, the 5.8351. Uh, V8. So those were like, uh, figure two times, two times eight is sixteen. You figure another ten cents on each one. And it's probably about what seventeen dollars and thirty cents or something, something like that, for just spark plugs. And then the plug wires. Ugh. I think I was sitting down when I got a price on it. They're Exact spark plug wire set. I don't know. It says for superior quality wire sets for import domestic cars and trucks en engineered to original specifications to provide maximum performance and reliability. Oh boy, new. Now enhanced with silicone wire. Why, why in the world would you put something as non-conductive as wire? I don't ever know. But anyways, these spark plug wires were, uh, I think they were $37 for the spark plug wire set. There was even a more expensive set that was like uh, $47 or something like that at the parts store. I uh, don't have the receipt on me right now. It's inside. Uh, i got to keep it in a safe spot so I can return that one spark plug and get a new one. So hopefully you guys can tell there's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 there. So... Anyways, I'm going to shove these old plugs back in a box and then I'll throw a set in it just in case. You couldn't change the plug wires on that whenever it's hot if you wanted to. I had a heck of a, heck of a time changing it when it's cold. So... Anyways guys, it seems to be running alright. Uh, I'm going to reset the computer tonight and see what that does with the engine codes. Uh, I haven't read them off or did anything with that really. Um, I'm really not going to worry about it as long as it runs fine. It's probably telling me something stupid like the choke's stuck on or something like that. But I don't, I don't know and I'm not going to look into it. To be honest with you. If this Bronco makes it through the winter... And I get a job next spring, which I have a job in the works, per se, but I don't have it yet. Uh, he won't hire me on until March. Um, so I'm not going to jinx what it is or where it is yet, but I'm really hoping that, that comes through. Otherwise, I'm back to square one with the job search. But, uh, yeah, if this makes it to spring, I'll, I'll stop driving it and I'll either fix it up a little bit and sell it or I'm gonna take it off the road and take the brush card and stuff and the wheels and put on my truck whatever my truck needs uh, so I don't know if I found an extended cab truck I would uh, trade uh, my Bronco on it 
That was the only reason I brought, bought the Bronco in high school was uh, to run crew bus up to Votech whenever we needed to. You know, four people, whatever, five. You never know how many people I had crammed in there. I won't tell you guys. <laughs> oh, this, me and this Bronco have had a lot of fun. I don't think I ever told you guys a story. I bought this Bronco for uh, 1200 bucks from... Uh, it was actually in a mobile home court. I should have known better than to buy it. But it really hasn't been too much trouble considering... Uh, I put a... I put a new uh, timing cover in it. And on, on it, whatever. Timing cover, water pump, uh, belt. Excuse me, there's something else stupid I put on it. Uh, I've done, I uh, put front brake pads, uh, rear brake pads, wheel cylinders, emergency brake cables, I think. Um, I had to find a passenger side mirror, which is actually a driver's side mirror flipped around. Uh, the transmission was rebuilt in it. Uh, Right after we got it, the transmission just kind of always acted kind of funny in it. I drove it like 20 miles, and I let my dad drive it one day, and he's like, ah, that's ridiculous, we got to get that rebuilt. So he shipped it off to the local transmission shop, and they rebuilt it. That was like two grand for the transmission. I really didn't see putting that kind of money into it. Because I just wanted to take the brush guard, and this one has a really nice front bumper on it. Where my truck is missing a piece of chrome, like right here. All in all, it's neither one of them are really in too bad a shape, but where each one is bad, the other one is good. This one has a bad body, but my truck has a great body. Uh, this one has this one has a good frame, but like I said, the body's not so great. My truck does not have a good frame. I actually. Uh, the driver's side frame rail I actually broke right behind the cab and there is a new frame rail from the transfer case back you know to the end of the frame back here here I'll show you guys in a second uh, how level my grandpa was whenever he was trying to weld the bumper on straight notice the gap on this side this is the side where the bumper was cut off and rewelded Notice the gap on that side, how small it is. Yeah, Grandpa, were you drunk or what whenever you were looking at this? <laughs> all in all, that's the only that's the only spot you'll ever tell because the bumper the bumper brackets are welded on crooked on the frame. Well, so anyways, I've babbled on for God knows how long now and uh see everybody see everybody later. Right, Brownie?